This is the new Vix and Polari mill. Uh, this has only been out about six weeks. Uh, this is one of only two prototypes that's now commonly available here. Um, it looks a bit like the um, video cassette, the old fashioned video cassette. And inside here is a tracking mount that will track all night long as long as your power is going to hold out. Um, here you've got a very simple hole that you sort on Polaris to get your uh, polar alignment correct. Or you can use the optional polar scope which fits through the back here. You simply remove the head here, put the polar alignment in there, turn it so it's aligned on the reticle and that will give you a very, very accurate power alignment. When you've done that, you simply take it out, pop your camera on, or in this case, a telescope, and it will give you a very accurate alignment. Um, <clears throat> on the side here, it takes two batteries, which gives you around about two hours tracking time before it starts to flash at you, you're running out of power. Or if you connect your laptop to it, it will give you power all night long. Um, in this particular case, I've got a small ball telescope on top here and I was taking some quite nice pictures of M45, too many exposures and it was very, very accurate, very, very clear. If you wish to use a, a camera on it, it's very simple to do. You simply take this off and put your camera on this ball head here and you can point it at any part of the sky and um, it will give you some very accurate tracking. It's also got different rates as well. <coughs> on the back here you can set it for sidereal rate, which is the star rate, uh, solar rate and lunar rate and also half sidereal, which is what they call starscape tracking, which basically means if you want to take a picture of, say, a castle with the stars in the background, it will move at half rate so the stars are sharp and the landscape is sharp too. Very nice little feature. In this particular case, I've got it mounted on a 410 grid head, uh, which makes it very easy to get to your polar alignment. There are various other ways you can get polar alignment. Uh, simply by using a uh, ball head there and tightening it, you can get reasonable polar alignment, but if you want a really accurate way of getting polar alignment, you can use the gear head here, and simply by turning these adjusters here and here, you can absolutely nail the polar alignment. Um, the new polar scope is a very, very nice piece of kit. It looks complicated, but really it's very simple. Uh, all you need to do is to get your time, time and date, line them up, and on here is a little bubble level. You simply insert it into the back, you turn the outside until the bubble is in the middle of the level here, and that's your hour angle. It's really that simple. But then using the two of justice here, you get Polaris in exactly the right position on the reticle, and you're good to go. All in all, a very nice piece of kit. <coughs> the only downside is it takes three and a half pounds of weight, uh, which is great for um, telephoto lenses, that sort of thing. But if you're using a small telescope, in this case, you're pretty well up to its limit here. Having said that, I've tested it beyond its limit, and it still works very, very well. So definitely a hot product to keep your eye on.